the six crew members uh, gathered uh, together uh, in the small vestibule connecting uh, the Soyuz spacecraft and the Poisk module for one final opportunity to uh, say farewell to one another and uh, to offer their best wishes to the departing crew of Ford, uh, Novitsky, and Torelkin uh, before they entered uh, their Soyuz vehicle to close the hatches and begin the preparations for uh, the undocking that is coming up shortly, leading to a landing on the steppe of Kazakhstan at 10.05 p.m. Central Time tonight. The hatches uh, between the two spacecraft were closed at 3.38 p.m. Central Time, 4.38 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, the final farewells taking place as uh, the departing crew made their way into their Soyuz vehicle to begin their final preparations. Okay, the uh, capture is no LED, is no... Uh, no Physical separation confirmed at 6.43 p.m. Central Time over northeastern Mongolia. Oh. Indicator LED is off, and combined gaso is confirmed. Okay, guys, good luck. Thank you, Roman. Bye-bye. You remember Kevin's request? Of course. Ford, Novitsky, Torelkin. Uh, one minute left. Departing the facility that has been their home for the past five months. A dark and port is clear. No foreign object. down the uh, longitudinal axis of the Russian segment of the International Space Station at the crosshairs. That's the ISS Progress 49 vehicle, which will remain uh, attached to the aft end of the Zvezda service module for about a month. Soyuz Commander Oleg Novitsky with the call sign of Kazbek will now uh, on either. Repress is also put uh, commands into the onboard computer uh, to uh, initiate uh, the descent mode, basically the load of software on the Soyuz computers that govern uh, descent operations.